Dylan Orion, and we're going to teach you how to subtract decimals by using decomposition. Take this problem for example. 14 and 2 tenths minus 3 and 9 tenths. First, you need to line up terms. Terms are numbers we add or subtract. You can only subtract the like terms, tenths from tenths, ones from ones, and hundreds from hundreds. An easy way to line up the terms is to line up your decimals. Next, you would break down 14 and 2 tenths or the minuend so you won't have to regroup. For this problem, we are going to decompose 14 and 2 tenths into 13 and 9 tenths plus 3 tenths. In this problem, if you try to subtract 9 from 2, you would have to borrow from the ones and rename the one you borrowed 10 tenths and then add it to the 2 tenths. This is a lot of work and can be confusing. If you decompose, you won't have to regroup. Next, you would subtract the numbers. 13 and 9 tenths take away 3 and 9 tenths is 10. Since you can subtract 9 tenths from 9 tenths, there is no regrouping. Next, bring down the partial differences and add. If there are any numbers in the minuen that haven't been subtracted by the subtrahend, bring them down and add them as well. Step 1. You line up the terms. 2. You would break down the numbers so you won't have to regroup. 3. Then you would subtract the numbers. 4. You bring down the subtracting numbers and add them. Your final answer will be 14 and 25 hundredths.